In the name of the Dark Ray, the Classic, and the Stingray Special. Amen. Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and today we are going to be comparing our Dark Ray with our Stingray Special. Both are special. Which one is more specialer? Let's find out. These are two Stingray Specials. We have the Stingray Special and the Stingray Specialer. This is the Dark Ray. This is essentially a Stingray Special with a Specialer preamp. This is a dark glass proprietary preamp that has the alpha and omega distortion circuits built in, as well as a two band EQ and a separate gain and blend control for the distortion circuits. Other than that though, this is essentially exactly the same as a Stingray Special. You have the same Stingray Special hardware, this having the blacked out hardware where our other Stingray Special has just the regular hardware, but it has the same selected hardwoods lightweight ash body, our roasted maple neck, an ebony fingerboard on this example, and our other Stingray Special has a roasted maple fingerboard, and the same lightweight Music Man tuners, 41.3 millimeter nut width and familiar Stingray neck profile. Both bases also feature the same neodymium pickup. So this is the same Stingray Special pickup from what it appears, just the dark glass preamp that's different here. So today we are going to be exploring the tonal differences between these two bases. Not so much with the distortion circuits on the dark ray, but we're going to keep things clean and kind of compare the two band and three band preamps, looking at different combinations and see what sort of tones we can get. For a more in-depth look at both of these bases, check out my Stingray Special and Dark Ray reviews that are going to be linked in the description below. But now, let's get started. You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. So we will be comparing both of these bases in a variety of EQ configurations, just looking at the bass and treble controls on the Stingray Special, as this only has a bass and treble control. We'll also be playing fingerstyle with a pick, slap, and with our beat buddy, so we can hear what this bass sounds like with some drums behind it. Let's get started. <laughs> Thank you. 
So here are my final thoughts on our Dark Ray versus the Stingray Special. Both bases are very similar and they feel basically exactly the same. However, the Dark Ray's preamp, which is only a two band, definitely is a bit more heavy handed on the bass control and delivers a bit more oomph at max. That being said, I doubt you're ever really going to be cranking the bass control to 100%, but if you are, the Dark Ray is going to deliver just a little bit more kick. The character of both is definitely solid. I would say the Dark Ray is maybe a little bit less output at center, um, but that might be due to just slight differences in pickup height. In my reviews of both bases, I rated both of them five claws out of five. The Stingray Special is definitely just a beautiful instrument, a great player's bass, and has a lot of upgrades over the outgoing Stingray. So I'm a big fan of the Stingray Special, and the Dark Ray is a very unique flavor of that Stingray Special. Either way you go, you're going to be getting yourself a great bass. But let me know which bass was your favorite down in the comments below. I don't know, I can't decide. So I'm going to keep them both. <laughs> well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about our Dark Ray as well as our Stingray Special. And as always, until we groove again.